Hi guys, it's Mr. Dodds here. We've put together a short video to show you how to access your work on Purple Mash while school is closed. Everybody's been given a new Purple Mash login card. However, your username and your password are exactly the same as they were before. So if you've memorized them from before, well done, you don't need to remember them again. When you access Purple Mash at home, it is slightly different than how you've done it in school. When we go onto it on school, the correct address is already saved onto the computers. We don't have to type anything particular. However, at home, it will not take you to the correct address unless you type in the full address at the bottom of your card here. So this part here, www.purplemash.com, St. Wilfrid's forward slash St. Wilfrid's B36. So to access your work on Purple Mash, open up your web browser, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, whatever it happens to be, and in the address bar at the top, type in the address that's on the bottom of the card. So www.purplemash.com, then the important bit, forward slash St. Wilfrid's B36. That will then take you to the school's portal, which you're all familiar with. So we log in exactly the same as how we do at school. We type our username in the top box, and then we type our password in the second box, both of which are on your card here. Remember, there are no capital letters and no spaces. When you log into Purple Mash, any work that has been set for you by your teacher will appear up here on the little bell. So you can see that I've got two pieces of work here that have been set for me by my teacher or another member of staff. To go to your work, simply click on the bell and you will see the two tasks there that have been set for you by your teacher. In this, set, in this one here, my to-do or my task is to create a dinosaur with lots of different scales. So to complete your work, click here where it says go to. When you click on the go to one, it will take you straight to the task and you start as soon as you're ready. Now the task on here, remember, was to create a dinosaur with different colored scales. So I'm just going to create a very quick one using some green scales for the top part of my dinosaur and then some pink scales for the other parts here. So I've created a dinosaur with different colored scales and I've done it very quickly. You obviously will take a lot more time with your work, but I'm just doing this to show you how it works. When you're happy with your work, when you're finished with your work, you must make sure that you save it. So click on save and it will save it there with your name. You'll see that it comes up with your name. Once it's saved and you're happy with it, you then have to hand it in so that your teacher can have a look at the task and mark it. To do that, simply click here on the red button to exit the task. That will take you back to this screen. On this screen, my dinosaur is here and I have two options. I can either carry on with my work or I can hand it in if I'm finished. So to hand it in when you're finished, simply click on the sign there that says hand it in. If you wish to leave a note for your teacher explaining what you did or that you had some problems or anything like that, simply type it in the box here. When you're done with that, simply click OK and your work will be handed in. So you've handed both of those tasks in and your teacher will mark them and set you your next piece of work. Don't forget you can continue to use Purple Mash for any other tasks that have not been set to you whilst you're at home. So if you think you need to do a bit of extra practice on your maths or your computing or your artwork, it's there for you to use all the time. So have a go at as many different things as you can while you're off and try and learn some new skills or improve in any areas where you may think you struggle. Once you're happy for the day, remember log out of Purple Mash. That will take you back to the main screen and then you can simply close down your computer and check back on the next day to see if you've been set any other work. Hope this helps you at home and remember keep your login cards safe because if you lose them it will take at least a couple of days for the information to get back to you if you've lost them. So make sure you keep them safe and check back regularly for work. Good luck.